Hi there, my name is Lucas and welcome back to Final Cut Pro Basics. Today we're talking about working with proxies. Uh, since the latest update on Final Cut Pro, proxies changed a little bit. We made a video about using proxies before, but I wanted to talk about a couple of the changes that Final Cut did to their proxying workflow. So the version that I'm in right now is version 10.4.9. So these changes that I'm gonna show you now only apply to this version and forward. So make sure your Final Cut is up to date. And here we have a project, we're gonna go file, import, media in here we have the footage that we want we're going to select these three files you can go here transcode create proxy and now what they do they give you two different codec for proxies they give you a prorex proxy or h264 and the interesting thing now is that you get to choose the frame size you can do same as source so it's just going to duplicate your source you can do 50 percent 25% or 12.5%. And the idea is that the lower the percentage, the lower the file would be and the easier to work with would be. So I would personally suggest you doing either 25 or 12.5. If your computer is not fast at all, 12.5 might be ideal for you because you're gonna get a very pixelated image, but is enough reference for you to edit through. Only when it comes into grading and like detail and things like that, that you might wanna relink to the original files. So in this instance, I would just go with 12.5, click import selected. And the files is gonna appear in here. You wanna go in view, and make sure because Fanica allows you to edit while it's still transcoding you can now click on view and you have a third option which is proxy preferred so while it transcodes you can still edit in proxy mode even though not all your files are proxy yet but you can also choose proxy only and you can see here drastically difference in the image quality so if you go optimize if you close this you can see a little better if you look at the detail on the ice and around, especially around the crackings once you click proxy dazzle down if this is too much for you i would just suggest you using either 50 percent or 25 percent. usually 12.5 would just give me the fastest performance of the software and i would prefer that over a crispy image for images that i don't need to see make sure i have a smooth playback is more important here than how great the quality looks if i'm unsure of the focus or anything like that i'll just quickly click on view and go on optimize and then i can tell how the image actually looks so i feel like this update to the proxy workflow is really great it makes the job even faster than before make sure you're using proxies they're really great to make sure your workflow is as fast as it can be if you have any questions or anything like that let me know down below if you like this video and you want to see more hit subscribe thank you very much and i'll see you next week goodbye